Good, Good morning, morning, New Canaan High, High School. School. Welcome to NCTV's first all-teacher broadcast. I'm Mr. Egan, coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is Friday, February 2nd, and a day H. It's great to be here with all of you this morning. And I'm Mrs. Gleason. Alongside Mr. Egan and I today are two other highly qualified anchors, Mr. Gusich and Mr. Killalay. But first, may everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and, to and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey seniors, now that the first semester is officially over, your grades are now available to send to colleges. And if you've already sent transcripts to schools, then don't worry, because our amazing team of counselors will be sending out your second semester grades automatically. However, if you've decided to withdraw an application or just didn't apply, please let your counselor know as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to check your emails in the coming weeks for information regarding senior internship assignments. Keeping with the senior theme, the fashion show is just under two months away. If you're participating, there is a short questionnaire in the main office that needs to be filled out as soon as possible. The questionnaire only takes about 10 minutes and gives the parents some fun facts about yourself to use during the fashion show. Once filled out, you can return the questionnaire to the office. Now juniors, we didn't forget about you. As the second semester rolls around, it's time to think about your future and what better way to kick off the long college process than meeting with your counselors. While you won't have to worry about the college application stress until next year, this is the opportunity to start asking questions about what happens next and really reflect on what you'd like to do in the future. There's a survey titled Game Plan on Naviance, as well as a questionnaire in the mail that needs to be filled out before your appointment. So make sure to keep your eye out for those. I'm sure you've all noticed by now that the school store, better known as Ramazan, is open for business. One of their students, one of their student employees, Oliver Harris, produced a fantastic commercial highlighting the new changes. Let's take a look. Introducing Ramazan, the best school store in the world. There are a lot of snack options. We sell chips and water, candy and cookies, and more. Are you looking for a way to spend your spare change? We have treats starting at only 50 cents. So come on and buy some snacks. We hope to see you soon. We hope to see you soon. Now open every day during lunch. The orchestra, band, and choir students will be combining for the annual collaborative concert next Tuesday the 6th at 7 o'clock in the auditorium. With over 140 of our NCHS musicians performing, it's something you won't want to miss. I've heard they're fabulous. The concert will feature two dramatic movements from Carmina Barana by Carl Orff. If you can't make it Tuesday night, you can get a sneak peek of the performance during period 5 that day. If you have a free period, feel free to come on down. However, if you have a class, it's up to the teacher after taking attendance to choose to bring the entire class to the in-school performance. We hope to see you on Tuesday. With flu season upon us, more and more students have been missing classes and getting sick. So Bill Brown decided to check in with school nurse, Miss Reed, for some helpful tips to staying healthy. Take it away, Bill. Well, folks, we're outside the nurse's office where Miss Reed would like to talk to us about how easily colds can spread. It's so important to cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze because germs can travel 25 feet. Influenza is spread by droplets, tiny germs that are spread with coughing, sneezing, even talking. Well, thank you, Ms. Reed. Well, guys, make sure to wash your hands, stay clean, and take care of yourselves, and don't forget those Flintstone vitamins. This has been Bill Brown. Back to you guys at the desk. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. We'll make sure to take our vitamins and stay healthy. Speaking of staying healthy, our Rams have gotten a lot of exercise over the last few weeks. Yeah, winter sports is in full swing, so let's get caught up on how all the teams are doing. Let's go to the man, the math legend, Mr. Killalay here for the Ram Sports Report. Well guys, with Schaefer gone, Luke busy, He's making graphics. I'm going to step in, so let's get right to it. I'm Mr. Killay, and this is the Ram Sports Report. Let's start off with girls hockey, who's currently in first place in the FSAC with a record of 14-2. After toppling the Blue Wave for the second time this season, they beat Fairfield yesterday. The girls are hoping to continue tearing up the ice as they head into FCX. Boys, on the other hand, need to pick up the slack before the tournament starts as they sit at an overall record of 15-8. 5-8. 
Wednesday, the guys took an L against FCAC leading Richfield 5-3 despite goals from Quinn McMahon, Chase Glover, and Jack O'Hare. Tomorrow, they'll be looking to bounce back against the 10-2-1 Staples Wreckers uh, when they come to town. The puck drops at 8 o'clock at Darien Ice Rink, so be sure to go buck wild as this game should be intense. Now on to basketball. After a two-point loss to Norwalk Bears on Tuesday, boys basketball is now sitting at an overall record of 4-10. Tonight, they look to redeem themselves against the Brian McMahon Senators as they come to the NCHS gym. With six games remaining and four wins away from a place in the tournament, every game matters. So let's get a big crowd at 7 o'clock, tip off tonight, and cheer on the guys. Girls basketball took on Norwalk on Tuesday, losing 44-25. Rihanna Absher carried the team on her back, putting up strong laps throughout the game, along with a stellar performance from fellow sophomore Jane Carlton. This game was pretty close for the first three quarters, but Norwalk Bears man managed to bounce back in the fourth quarter, and the Lady Rams had, uh, unfortunately took the loss. Lady Rams head to Brian McMahon today at 5.30. Good luck, ladies. Boys swimming and diving is treading in the wake of a 3-3 record. They go above 500. They look to go above 500 today when they face off against Darien at 3 o'clock. This should be a tight game or meet or match, whatever you call it. So let's be sure to get out there, go over to the Y, and support your boys. Boys and girls track had FCX last night. We saw some exceptional performance from Sean Knight, awesome name, dude, uh, Jack Conley, and Semino, uh, Naomi Semino in the shot put, and Julia Ojimak in the 1,000-meter run. They look ahead to February 8th, where they have the Class L State Championships next week. Go get them. Wrestling is having a great season with an incredible 11-3 uh, start. They're currently sitting in the second spot in the East Division, trailing behind Fairfield Ward. They look to continue their dominating season as they take on Stanford Knights next week. This will be their final meet before FCX, which will be, Friday, uh, which will be next Friday. Shout out to freshman Justin Mastriano, who won the Ram of the Week because of his two wins <laughs> and remaining undefeated this season. Great job, Justin. I think he's a freshman. While the Rams have a lot going on this, this weekend, I know everyone is still looking forward to the big game this weekend, the Super Bowl. I'm very excited, too. So we decided to send NCTV's Schaefer Jones out to Minnesota to cover the game. Schaefer? Hi, I'm Schaefer Jones coming to you from the NFL Experience in Minnesota. Although it is negative three degrees out here, I decided to come early and do a little bit of recon for the big game. My picks for Sunday night are the Eagles. Although the Patriots were pretty dominant this season, Tom Brady's play did dip down later in December. I think the Eagles have the drive and the want as this would be their team's first Super Bowl. Well, that's it for me on your Super Bowl update. This has been Schaefer Jones in Minnesota. Thank you and have a great afternoon. Thanks, Mr. Killalay. Um. You did an amazing job with the sports report. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> So now let's go and let's get the weather from Mr. Gussage. All right, here we go with the weather. Uh, hey guys, uh, good morning to NCHS. I'm Mr. Gussage, and we're having a couple technical difficulties, so we're going to do the best we can here. Um, we're going to take a look at the weather update. As we look at Friday, we have a little bit of snow this morning. Hope you enjoyed your delay, but it looks like it's all cleared up and it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, temps will also uh, be a little bit chilly with a high of 27 and a low of 13. Saturday is also going to be a beautiful day, but a little cold with mo mostly sunny skies, but it'll be the coldest day of the weekend with temps in the lows in the 30s going down to the 20s. And finally, we take a look at dun, 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 Super Bowl Sunday. There was a chance of snow later in the evening, but it looks like it has turned to rain. So if you plan on having a Super Bowl party, make sure you have a tent or you're indoors. Despite the rain, the temperature should warm up a bit with a high of 41, but drop way down to a low of 28. So make sure your rain jackets and umbrellas are handy. Well, guys and gals, that's all for me. Have a wonderful, safe, and fun weekend. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Mr. Gussich. Now, before we go, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Thomas Brennan, Logan Otis, John Riggs, and Charlie Wright. Wait, wait a minute. How come we don't ever have any teacher birthdays? Anyway, if you have any announcements or just want to let us know how, how well we did today, be sure to email nctv78 at gmail.com or use the Twitter handle at NCTV 78 a week before the Friday broadcast. This has been Mr. Egan. And I'm Mrs. Gleason. Now we heard Mr. Killalay's Super Bowl pick, but what about yours? NCTV's Dom Maitino hit the halls to see who NCHS is rooting for. 
Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay classy, NCHS. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, stay classy, NCHS. And thanks for stopping by. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dominic Maitino here, and I decided to interview NCHS to see what they had to think about who's going to win the Super Bowl. Let's go. All right, boys, so who do you think is going to win Super Bowl 52? Uh, I think the Patriots are going to win. I'm going to say the Pats. I think the Pats. We're going to have to go with the Patriots, yeah. Um, probably the Patriots. Go Birds. Um, definitely the Patriots. I think the Eagles, because Boomer Manchuk said they would win. Obviously the Pats. I'm also going to go with the Patriots. I like Birds, so I'm going to say the Eagles. And who do you think will uh, win MVP? Tom Brady, the GOAT. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> Tom Brady, for sure. Yeah, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, of course. Uh, Steven Goskowski. Fletcher Cox. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you heard it here first. I'm Dominic Maitino, and go Eagles.